I'm dead. Cavaradona. Quasi come Maradona, no. I've been plotting for a more nigga, more nigga. I'm just trying to get up, nigga. Up, nigga. Tell me why you want to talk, nigga. Talk, nigga. Are you trying to make me more, nigga? More, nigga. All these bitches. Ha! Gang members, how the fuck? Ah! It's your day go, man. You're me. Fuck it, you know, I got down video, man. Hell up. Gang members, man. Ah, right, look, man, look, man, look, man. Without wasting time, while I was uh looking for Maradona video to react to, I seen this video. See Naples and die. Italy's most misunderstood city by Malani Angelica. But what really got me was why see Naples and die? And say it's the most misunderstood city. Like why die you know <laughs> but hey man i decided to share fuck it let me let's react to the whole thing it's a 25 minute long video make sure you grab yourself a nice little blunt if you don't smoke maybe a popcorn but no cigarettes you know what i'm saying <laughs> but yeah man let's go ahead and check it out that's what see nipples and die talking about all right please subscribe and like if you're new to the vibes please subscribe a beautiful city really 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 jam-packed buildings reminds me of nigeria where i'm from like the the uh, I was about to say so, but the rural areas in Nigeria are like really jam packed like this. Like there's a lot of buildings everywhere, just clustered together. Is this how the whole of Naples are? It is. It can't be the whole of Naples. I doubt it. It's usually very very tough to breed in areas like this, but the there's smells no are usually in the good. World quite like it. It's not as polished as the other touristy Italian cities. It has rough edges and a gritty atmosphere, intermingled with some of the friendliest people on earth. The most captivating show in Naples is real life itself, and the Neapolitans its stars. Okay. That's beautiful. Damn, that's dope. What if he hit the boat? Once one has seen that nigga is drumming on his belly. <laughs> Super it's dope. Else That's that rich, man, that rich man life. That nigga worrying about less. He just having fun with his belly. <laughs> Italian city of Naples. One can die peacefully, since nothing else can match its beauty. Vedi Napoli e poi mori. See Naples and die. Vedi Napoli mori. Why see Naples and die? Malani Angelica. It seems at one point in history, everyone wanted a slice of this beautiful, crazy city. The Greeks were the first to arrive, and later the Spanish, who made themselves at home for a notable period, before Naples, somewhat begrudgingly, became part of a unified Italy. But one thing's for sure, wait, 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 wanted yeah. a slice of this beautiful, crazy city. The Greeks were the first to arrive, and later the Spanish, who made themselves at home for a notable period, before mm. Naples, somewhat begrudgingly, became part of a unified begrudgingly. Italy. But one thing for happen? sure, this view always has and always will belong to Naples herself. Shorty bad too though, let's not talk, let's not... This is a series of streets in the historic centre of Naples, which is called Scapanopoli or the Decumani made up of several different roads that run straight through the city, essentially dividing two halves of the Do people drive through these places? And the ancient Greeks founded this city and they called it Neapolis. So the layout mm. of the historic centre and the roads is exactly what it would have been like back in the Greco-Roman period. That's cool. The Neapolitans are blessed with gifting Italy with perhaps its most beautiful invention, the pizza. Oh yeah? What initially pizza was from like Naples? Nothing more than a simple base of dough topped with tomato sauce, cheese, and occasionally some other toppings is a cultural art here in Naples. A lot of restaurants around the world claim to make Neapolitan pizza. But what does that oh, actually mean? Oh, that is true! In 2004, the Italian Ministry of Agriculture defined exactly what constitutes an authentic Neapolitan pizza. Width, thickness of base and crust, ingredients, and cooking temperature. Pizzeria okay. da Adelio is a favorite of Napolitanos who come here to enjoy a fine example of the perfect Neapolitan pizza. Ah. And they're also one of the best at making the original invention. 
pizza margarita. What is on it? The story goes that the reason it's called a margarita pizza is because it's named after Queen Margarita of Savoy. So she was the wife oh, of King Umberto. And shortly after Italy's unification in 1861, she came to Naples and the chef, Raffaele Esposito, was tasked with Raffaele making her Esposito. very yummy pizza. So he decided to put together uh, basil, mozzarella and tomato. All the colours of the Italy flag, red, green and white. And she loved it. So they called oh. it the Italy flag, red, green. That's pretty cool. And That's white, cool. and she loved it, so they called it pizza margarita. Fold it together, I think, might be the best way. I mm. love pizza, bro. Incredible, so Especially pizza that just. Mm. The combination makes the most incredible. That's making her sweat already. Food. Hell yeah. The most mythical neighborhood of Naples, the Quartieri Spagnoli, Aww. was born during the reign of the Spanish viceroys who wanted to build a neighborhood for their troops. Today, this historic district is full of life and color. People live in small street level housing called Bassi, where the line between public and mm. private space is constantly blurred and the maze of streets transform into a series of outdoor living rooms. Oh, is that a cat? <laughs> Aww. <laughs> oh, you can tell he ain't well. Si spende poco. Little spending. C'è sempre il sole. Facciamo una bella pizza. Bella pizza. Pizza napoletana. Pizza napoletana. E quali sono i valori fondamentali da napoletano? Tutti i giorni siamo cattolici. Cattolici. Religione è importante. Napoli. C'è padre Pio. Padre Pio. Padre Pio. C'è la croce dove Gesù Cristo, la Madonna. Yeah. Madonna. So Christianity Santa is really, really Madonna. big in the Naples, huh? Or in Naples, in Napoli. Ciao, ciao. <laughs> Naples. In the city of Naples. Oh, wow. They still do that? I haven't seen anywhere that they still do that in a very long time. Which one? Neapolitan people, they say, you know, they talk a lot with their hands, so they've got like very unique ways of saying things. So he's like, Donde vai? Donde vai? Like, where are you going? And then he showed me another one, but I need to look up what that meant because I'm not quite sure what he said. What are you saying? Wow. Bella, molto bella. Mm. Come si chiama? Carmela. Carmela. Esta, wow. io. That was her when she was younger. She looked so beautiful. Esta, Aww. Ahora, and she's just showing this to someone she doesn't even know. Bello, tutto, tutto Noi siamo bello. persone a Napoli veramente con un cuore grande. Io amo Napoli. Yo yeah. smoke weed out there? In Napoli. I mean, I want to know. Is we legal or is it illegal or and people still smoke? Grazie, grazie it's been amazing walking around the Spanish Quarter and it feels like I'm in a movie. You know, you've got the laundry hanging from the balconies and the motorbikes whizzing by. I mean, it's really authentic I'm Nigerian, so I'm used to that. But I understand why she would say something like that. <laughs> Yeah, that's a tall building, like five stories. 
What a lot of people don't know about Naples is that it has the highest number of churches in the world. It's often referred Damn. to in Italian as La Cita del Cinquen Cecchetto Cupola, La which means Cita. the city of 500 domes. Walk around Naples and one quickly feels as though they're part of a nativity show. Every street corner has a grand church or makeshift religious shrine. But delve a little deeper into the city's religiosity and it becomes clear that Naples' Catholic faith has some decidedly Neapolitan eccentricity in rituals that to an outsider the verge on Jesus has six packs? to a Neapolitan make perfect sense. I, I think Jesus has six packs. They need to give that in man six church, packs. In church there are the remains of anonymous skulls from the 17th century. And what a group of people did is adopt these skulls and pray for them, pray for their soul to leave purgatory and to reach heaven. And they hope that in return for this, they will receive graces and favors. It's a very really? interesting interplay in Naples between traditional religion and more superstitious and pagan beliefs. Naples' traditions Scotch are deeply pepe. rooted in both superstition and religion, to a point that they intertwine and become hard to distinguish. And there's a famous road in the historic centre which shows off this seemingly bizarre interplay. This shop in particular, you'll see lots of figurines of traditional emblems and symbols of superstition and what they believe is good luck. It's very interesting to see how the more good luck figurines are amongst the why, 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 why do they think pepper is figures. good luck? So this one, for example, you'll see has little garlics around him. And if you look behind, he has the hunch on his back. The saying is that you rub his back and, you know, you get good luck. Really? I never Another heard that one before. Another belief here in Naples is if you rub the nose of Pulcinella, who is a very popular figure in Neapolitan puppet shows, it will bring you good luck. So you have to walk by and give his nose a rub. I can imagine how many people have touched that. Rione Sinita is a historic neighborhood in Naples and was a place of meeting between life and death as it was used as a burial site in the Greco-Roman period. Sinita means health and it was named this because the Greeks believed that the ground here had healing powers. This used to be one of healing the worst areas because of, of the city. And it still uh, has gets, um, a little bit of, of a burial stigma, ground. But as you can see around, now it has become like a very normal neighborhood. This shrine was made by the people of the neighborhood. People want a personal shrine where they can go and worship the saint or the specific Madonna that they worship in their specific house or family. Specific and usually Madonna? they make a vow to the saint Madonna or the, the Madonna, singer? like if you make me heal from cancer, I'll put up a shrine and I pray for you every day. And so they kind of believe that if they go and they kind of worship and, yeah. and pay their respect, yeah. they will get kind of like a favors and graces yeah, in return. Exactly. Religion in Napoli uh, got really mixed with the superstitions of the people and our belief in witchery, basically. Very like mm. Neapolitan then, yeah. kind of superstitious. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. You know. Would you say the reason why people of Naples mm. took in religion and then mm -hmm. superstitious beliefs is to do with a tragic So the cats like just stay in the house, they don't go history. out? Everything in Napoli, I think, It doesn't look like there's a lot of it's dogs on the, the love, streets or cats for in the, the streets. Land, the love for the sea, the love for the religion, the love for the death. Like, in other countries or in other cultures, death is seen like something that you have to be scared about. Here, no, we are not scared about dying. Um, we believe that when you die, you became like the ghost of your house, so that basically you will still live forever. So everything relies on love, even the fact that you have this shrine here. People deeply, it's not just the belief that they have in Jesus or the Virgin Mary, so they the deeply love it. Love. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, everything is about love. Like for example, the uh, most worshiped character in Napoli is the Virgin Mary, because the Virgin Mary is a mother, mm. and everybody here loves their mothers to death. So family here yeah. is yeah. really important. Yeah. 
deadly important. I'd say it was like one of the fundamental values like of that? the people here. Was oh, yeah. Definitely. Should have just smiling, creeping from the balcony. Yeah, this King Damien on a beat. Sunita is About to drop some shit. the birthplace and hometown of the famous comedian here in Naples, Toto. So you'll see mm -hmm. that his picture is around all the little streets here. But something that's really nice about Naples is that the people of Naples, they're very proud of like their homegrown talent. So Toto, you'll see Sofia Loren. Maradona. It's just like really nice to see that they are still kind of like very much worshipping those like original figures in the Neapolitan culture. Here in the Spanish Quarter, there's an amazing shrine to Diego Maradona, the yes, famous sir. football player. He started playing for Napoli at a time when Naples was going through a really difficult period, a few years after the huge 1980 earthquake. And, you know, the city was very depressed. He literally gave the Neapolitan people, like, so much hope because he wow. really kind of rose the status of Naples by winning lots of cups, lots of games. So he really has godlike status here in Naples, and it's incredible the people still worship him and they've called the stadium after him so the stadium is now called the Maradona Stadium, stadium. Mm. Yo, yo, that was good Okay It's clear that football is at the heart and soul of Naples and there's a bar dedicated to Maradona in the historic centre I'm dead. That's his original hair? That's some crazy kind of, obs of obsession. Of all the great Neapolitan traditions kept alive, perhaps the one which the city is most famous for is its vibrant food scene. Even Northern Italians agree that the country's best dishes are served in the sizzling pan of Naples. On Sunday, we have two liturgies, okay? The first one, we go to the church in the morning. The second one, most important today, we sit on the table and we eat. All the oh, this is, that's together, more important than eat, uh, and God. We eat, <laughs> and we eat, and we eat. So we start around two in Napoli, and we don't know when we finish, till the food is over. Wow. Big part of this food is seafood. So Ooh. you cannot come to Pigna Seca Market and not having okuop. Coppa. Coppo. Coppo. No, say it correct. Coppo. Coppo. Bravo. Bravo. What is Coppo? Basically, it's a basket. A basket. Paper, and we put everything fried inside. Deep fried. So this is a Coppo. Generally, Coppo is with seafood. Wow. Mix of seafood. And this is the best one. Oh. We fry everything, wow. and the result is this. Coppo. Brava, you become Bravo. a Brava. The funny thing is that we fry everything in Napoli. We Why she looks so pissed off? We fry everything. Hey, bambino. Of course. We fry everything. Mm. Yes. You say everything. kids? Why is there a tradition of the deep frying? A tradition of areas where they are not very wealthy. You fry for many reasons. You fry to give taste. I always give this example. You boil potato, no taste. But mm. you fry potato, French Tasty. fries, the best thing in the Tasty. world, if you ask me. Yeah. Mm. But what, the, the uh, poor neighborhood thing doesn't have anything to do with why they fry it. It just tastes good. This is just to show how we fry everything. Everything fries. Rice. Rice? Pasta, polenta, ricotta cheese. Oh, he meant it when they said they fry everything for real. Zucchini flowers. What? Do they even fry pasta? 
This is bucati with tomato. Wow. Ah. Zucchini flowers. Bravi. One of the best wow. things so according to me. And it's just a, made, veg just a vegetable made unhealthy. Uh, right? Our mother, if we are eating healthy, they tell us you be, will become sick. Ma the Italian mom will say. No, Italian. I mean, sorry, sorry. Madonna. Eh, Napoli. No, the na Napol the Napolitan mother. Mother. Yes. Will say if you eat healthy food, you will become sick. Sick, of course. You must eat. Because fried according food. to the popular thought, healthy equal not uh, giving <laughs> any energy, any protein, any anything that keeps you stronger. Oh, it's hot, it's hot. What? It's That's a very very Actually, weird mentality. It doesn't taste very unhealthy. You can still taste the zucchini. Of course. You know. Uh, of course. That's good invention. Mm. Okay. in Napoli, we can never build a wood oven with bricks. So, traditionally, margherita, we only eat in the pizza place, we go out. Mm -hmm. At home, our grand-grandmother, the, the idea to take a pan, putting oil, mm -hmm. and deep frying the pizza. So this became the only authentic way that at home, we had our pizza, pizza fritta. Pizza fritta. And then pizza soon, fritta. the baby will be born here. Look, look. Look at the master Emanuele, how good he is to fry this pizza. Emanuele. This is authentic, homemade Napoletan pizza. And this is the result. Look at here. Oh, wow. Bravo. <laughs> OK. This is, this is paradise. Oh my gosh. Sheesh, they're getting me hungry looking at this it's video. Really good. Mm. Mm. How do you like it? Very good. Very, very good. Right pizza. Mmm. Neapolitans mm. love the beach, and weekends are a day for sun worshipping and lazing around on one of Naples' beautiful suburban beaches. Mm. In typical Neapolitan fashion, you'll find everyone, from extended families to groups of friends and lovers, enjoying this coastal pilgrimage, <laughs> soaking up the sun and taking a swim in the Mediterranean Sea. Nazario <laughs> Everybody's tan. They are tanned up. Giuseppe. Are there any beaches in Napoli? In the Naples? Ciro, <laughs> What is going on right now? Antonio. Antonio. They just keep multiplying. Whoa. Antonio, Roberto. Giuseppe. Giuseppe, Antonio. Okay, Antonio. Mi devi già. Sì, limone, prendi. 
Are they, are they together? I thought you said that was the uncle. Look like they got some bad kids over there. Some real bad kids. Uh, Maradona. I'm dead. Grande, Dio del Calcio, Fumo. Grande, Grande del Mundo, Number One. Oh, number one, Amor, Amor, Napoli, and I'm This video is amazing. She goes through every detail. What makes Staples so special for me are the people. Mm -hmm. They're passionate about so many things and I feel like the defining characteristics of this incredible city and the lives of the Neapolitans, like the football, their love for Maradona, the food, they just enjoy the best natural Shit. high quality food. YouTube you said their love for marijuana. Madonna, the food, they just enjoy the best natural high quality food. Yep. And then how religious they are and how and they make it right in your face. Superstition. And above all else, they seem to value family. And you just see them everywhere. Families all around the streets having so much fun. I feel like I've just soaked up the vibe of the city and there's an incredible energy that runs through it. Coming here with an open mind and just ignoring everything that's been said about Naples, I've realized that they really are the underdog of Italy and this is a real, true, authentic place in Italy to come. Mm. That was amazing. That was beautiful. Dope video. Malini. Dope, 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 dope. Let's see, what's that? Look at the dog. Okay. The life of the rich and famous. Is this her family? Oh, wow. That was someone playing live. That's what she did. That's the background music. That's beautiful. This video is sick. It's like a movie. Like a documentary. Doku movie. Malani. Malini. I'm just saying that. I'm just butchering everybody's names today. That was an amazing video to watch, man. Beautiful stuff. 10 out of 10. Naples, I definitely got to come visit very, very soon, man. It was beautiful seeing, like, how passionate they are about a bunch of stuff, like she said. Like, it's super dope. Especially their passion for Maradona and, and football in general. That's just dope. And their passion for fried food. Like, you guys fry everything. That's different. You guys fry rice, fry pasta? I ain't never heard shit like that before. Now I want to try it. Zucchini, I'm not a big fan of, so I don't even know if I want to try the fried one. But hey, I enjoyed the video. I enjoyed it. felt like I just visited Naples and I just, you know what I'm saying? I was just telling you guys about it, but that was amazing. That was dope. Naples is definitely a beautiful city. I love you guys so much. Stay blessed. Stay safe. Stay lit. Stay sexy. Okay? I love you, man. Let's get to it. <sighs> I've been plotting for more nigga, more nigga. I'm just trying to get up, nigga. Up, nigga. Tell me why you wanna talk, nigga. Talk, nigga. Are you trying to make me more nigga? More nigga. All these bitches wanna fuck, nigga. Fuck, nigga. Tell me why she wanna talk, nigga. Talk, nigga. I'm just trying to get up, nigga. Up, nigga. Tell me why she wanna fuck, nigga. Fuck, nigga. All my niggas don't.